Hello and welcome to another energy reading. By all accounts, last week wasn't great for many people. Let's just see how this week turns out. So let's look at the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. Okay, not sure if this is good or bad, but I'll tell you what's going on <laughs> for the week to come. This week it's really important to be as free as possible. Uh, don't get bucked down with anything, don't agree to anything. Um, make sure you have enough individual space for you. And at the same time, get as much rest into your daily activity as possible. So this is not a week to be... Um, exercising strengths and you know and, and do stuff um, that is that is tedious or strenuous uh, not at all so uh, just to to recap for the week to come make sure you have enough individual space um, stay out of drama always a good idea anyway and um, at the same time make sure that your periods of rest um, are long and plentiful so that's just the overall energy for the week to come let's just go into the um, Individual star sign starting with Leo. Leo have it um, quite easy this week. And what that means is you have the heron and the goat. I work with, uh, with uh, Spirit Animal Guides cards. Um, and that means that opportunities will come to you this week. And also financially this is going to be a good week. Um, so don't worry about anything. Opportunities will come to you. New opportunities may, may well arise. And uh, financially there's nothing to worry about. Uh, this week at least nothing major. So that's um, short and sweet. And now let's go into Virgo. Hmm. Virgo, I can see um, a little pattern to the overall energy that I just earlier mentioned about having space. For Virgo people also, this, this week your freedom is really, really important. Um, this is not a good week to adapt to situations and try to uh, fit in, blend in, not gonna work. Um, be truthful to who you really are um, and make sure um, to have a, a lot of time for yourself and spend your time the way you want to spend it. You know, give a little example, don't go out with a group of people um, that you know no longer works for you, for instance, and you just sit with them because it is, what a, I don't know, tradition or something. doesn't make any sense. So this week it's really, really important. Um, try not to adapt to, to groups or situations and stay clear um, of, of situations that are, that are tedious. Okie doke. That's Virgo moving into Libra. There's a bit of lower energy uh, uh, um, surrounding uh, Libra and um, what that means, this is a really good week for deep meditation and see, you know, where are you in life, you know, is there anything you really want to do, uh, manifestation is a, is, a, is a good thing to do this week via meditation, also important to um, cleanse your, your living space, that's really, really important too and um, you would also, when you start meditating this week, um, get to the bottom of many things. Um, um, so that's that's uh, just has nothing to do with 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 your work life or anything. Um, the uh, information that I'm getting, but um, this is all about understanding to find out who you who you truly are and what's around the corner for you. Um, this would be a very good read for journeying and meditation, right? So that's Libra. Moving into Scorpio, UK doggy. Moving into Scorpio. Scorpio. This is a good week in the sense that um, you have the frog here. The frog is an amphibian, which means you can live on land and on water. Which means no matter what this week throws at you, you will be able to manage uh, with, with, with very little effort. 
but you have to listen what's been said around you uh, and, and read and hear between the lines. So not everything is um, as it seems, so to speak. So make sure you listen carefully to what's been said uh, around you. Um, but also remember this week, like I said, um, you know, you will be just fine. You will adapt to situations just easily. Not a big deal. That's not bad then. That was Scorpio moving into Sagittarius. So, for Sagittarius people, it's important this week to be steadfast and to remember that when things are difficult or have been difficult, you always survive them. So this is a week to remember your strengths, quite, quite important uh, to remember your strengths. Um, so that means that very likely you will find people um, this week, um, you know, trying to off balance you a bit, uh, maybe even tell you, you know, things are your fault and stuff, pay no attention to these people really. <laughs> um, and just remember, this week it's really, really important to be steadfast and, st and also stand your ground this week. Also really important this week to be quiet and see things from a higher point of view. If you have arguments with someone, for instance, don't just react, step back a little and see what they're actually saying and if it actually makes sense to respond at all. Right? So that's that. Capricorn. All right, for the Capricorn people, um, old stuff will come up. This could be old trauma, old memories. Um, people co might come back that you have known throughout your life, uh, but in different eras of your life. So old stuff is coming back. And whatever is coming back this week um, might cause you some grief, actually, and some, some difficulty. Um, and it's really time to let that go. No matter what this is, you will very likely notice this week that if um, this is related to someone that you've once known and that com came back into your life, for instance, um, uh, you might not be able to just continue on as if there was no time in between. Right? Okay. Okay, moving on to Aquarius, and I'm drawn to a different deck altogether. So for Aquarius people, this week also uh, uh, will be um, difficult. Is probably the wrong word, but it will be it will be challenging. That's for sure, um, because you you have things that are not quite yet in the open, um, not quite ready to deal with them fully, take them on fully, or even resolve them fully. Um, so you have to sort of live on a, on a wing and a prayer this this week, and also. Um, because things are a bit difficult to assess, um, don't give in to illusion. Don't make this like, oh yeah, maybe this worked out this way, and if I do this, then this will happen. Um, don't try to control things, because there are things that you cannot control uh, at all. So this week, it would be actually quite good to, um, to uh, lay low, if that makes, if that makes sense, and um, you know, try to just um, observe things rather than uh, actively uh, engage. So that's... That's Aquarius. Moving on to Pisces. What is this? So, for us Pisces people, um, it's important this week to be in your softness, to be very calm and um, Sounds a bit weird, probably for, for us blokes, but be as feminine as you uh, could possibly be. Uh, and that just means, you know, don't, don't go ahead first into arguments, don't, don't be um, aggressive, don't be too assertive either. Um, and, and so this would be a week where you have to be in your, in your softest or your, your softest spot. And then also you need, um, you need uh, me time this week. Seriously, you need me time this week and, 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 and time off from things would be 
would be good. So if you have a few days of, of vacation to, still to take, take them now. <laughs> so that's just Pisces. Moving into Aries. With this deck. So this, for the Aries people, this is not a good week to be second fiddle or be second to anything, second in command, even, you know, um, make sure that you are on top of your own priority list and make sure that people who deal with you uh, also put you high on their priority list. It's time for you this week to be seen and acknowledged. Um, you have the wolf, which means you have to be a leader. And actually, you are a leader, so lead. Even if you lead a pack of one, you're still leading. So um, you know, be be true to yourself this week. Um, and that's really the only the only advice there is. The other thing that would be really important, if if uh, at all possible, is to actually spend time in nature and and reconnect um, to to the soil and to nature. It will do you a world of good. Right. Taurus. So this week for the Taurus people, it's important um, to be diplomatic. It's probably the best way of saying it. Be, be, be diplomatic and remember you are what is called, called the builder of bridges. So it is really important this week to, to be calm um, with any, any situation that comes to you. And anything that is difficult, um, assess it from a, from, a, from a child's heart point of view. See it from a very um, innocent angle. So not everything that is being said to you or comes to you is necessarily meant to upset you or uh, you know uh, off balance you or anything. So this week, be be soft. Uh, try not to burn any bridges and just take things easy and assess them well before you actually respond or react to them. Right. Moving on to Gemini. The reason why I'm running through this today is because there's loads of traffic here, uh, which I cannot control, and I don't want this to be too loud. So I thought I'm going to you know, make this a little bit quicker. Gemini. Gemini, it's important this week to remember that you have made a lot of progress uh, already in your life, and life is not as difficult as you probably think it is. And this is a very good week to probably write down any ideas you have. Um, and this could, you know, be regarding uh, your future, what it is you want to do with your life, um, current situations. Write down any ideas you may have how to improve your life. Um, and then I would actually repeat this. You know, you write it down. If the same idea uh, that you write down on a Monday, for instance, feels right to you on a Tuesday, write it down again, add something to it. So this is a very, very, very good week of um, compiling a list of ideas and then act on them accordingly. Right. And then lastly, we have the Cancer people, Cancerians. Another lorry just drove past. <laughs> right. Okay. For, for Cancerians, if you have any issues with family or relationship, this is too weak to let it go. If you feel this isn't working, you're probably right, it isn't working. Don't try to keep the peace. I'm not asking you to, to, to go into war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it's not a good week to um, adapt and uh, uh, you know, try to keep the peace because in the long run it won't work. So this is a week to actually, um, you know, not going into exile and stuff, but, um, you know, if it can't be resolved, it's good for you to walk away this week. And this is in relationship to, um, to uh, family or close friends or, or your own uh, uh, relationship. Um, yeah, and that's all we, we've got this week. See you next week.